Begin by placing four to five ounces of soaked wood chips in a smoker box. I'm using a blend of hickory and cherry. Place the box on top of the grill's flame tamers. You can remove the grid or grids from this area. Place a water pan next to the smoker box and fill it three-fourths of the way full with hot water. Turn the burner under the smoker box on and set it to high. Place a surface thermometer in the opposite rear corner of the grill. Close the lid and preheat for 15 to 20 minutes. Once preheated, place four half racks of ribs directly on the cooking grids on the opposite side from the smoker box, bone side down. Close the lid and allow the ribs to cook for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. Then replenish the smoker box for the second and final time with another four to five ounces of wood chips and refill the water pan. Depending on your pan's depth, you may need to check every 30 to 45 minutes to ensure it doesn't dry out. Before closing the lid, shuffle the rib racks, placing the racks closest to the lit burner further away and moving the ribs from the back corner closer to the lit burner. Close the lid again and cook for another hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. This time, check your water pan, refill if necessary, turn the rib racks over so they're bone side up, close the lid and cook for another 45 minutes. Again, check your water pan, turn the ribs back to bone side down, and swap them around again. Close the lid and cook for another 30 minutes or so while preparing your barbecue sauce if you're making a homemade one like we are today. Coat each side of the ribs with some barbecue sauce, remove the water pan, and turn all grill burners to high. Grill for a few minutes on each side to caramelize, remove from the grill, allow them to rest for about 10 minutes or so, and enjoy. Blaze Grills, where grilling starts and flavor begins.